I can tell you we have basically about uh, three what I call purely manufacturing companies in town. We have approximately 140 oil and gas service related companies. So it's, it's a really big part of our, of our community. Most everybody out here that's in business has been through it before. Mm -hmm. So they all knew, you know, basically we need to downsize and be able to make adjustments on things. Elk City has lost nearly 30 drilling rigs since crude oil prices fell, and the city has lost more than 1,200 jobs over the past year. Community leaders are trying to help local merchants survive the economic downturn. Jim Mason, Economic and Community Development Director for Elk City, has been working closely with retailers. Not every community is as dependent on oil and gas as we are. And so fortunately, we've been able to see uh, a major effort on the retailer side trying to have you know, new sales and doing things to attract people in uh, to help us offset some of that that we might have lost from some of the other. Part of what we're trying to do is educate our retailers on how to be better retailers. One of the things that we're bucking is the fact that uh, research shows us that most people that buy things buy them between 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock in, in the afternoon and evening. So a lot of our stores were, you know, opening at 9 and closing at 5. They're missing the biggest potential and a lot of folks are most of our people are working. We don't have a whole lot of folks that are just retired or, or sitting around. And so they couldn't get in the stores because they were closed at the time they could shop. So we've been trying to educate our, our retailers that, you know, hey, open at noon. You probably sell more if you stayed open noon to six or noon to seven to eight than you will being open otherwise. It has been a struggle. We didn't quite know it would affect, I mean, we knew it would affect us. Um, it's hard to say, you know, we still have some really loyal customers that come in anyway, but there's quite a few faces that we don't see as often, and then there's faces that we, you know, have moved. It's tough. It's tough, but it's not just tough for me. It's tough for everybody. It's tough. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. It's just hard. It's hard. I guess you just keep going through it and wait through the storm to end, and then build from there, build back. We promote each other. If we don't have something, we want to keep you downtown. We want to get you over here to this business because they do. If it's the Vogue and they've got an amazing dress, they're going to send them over here for the cute shoes over at Carol's Shoe Corner. Uh, we keep it together. We're in this together. Uh, we want to weather the storm together, but we do care about each other's business. Mason is optimistic the city will weather this storm. He hopes the downturn will allow him to market Elk City to manufacturing and logistics companies that have shied away from the city in the past. The spirit of the community is really uh, certainly not optimistic, but they're, they're very uh, confident in what's, what's going to happen here eventually. It may take a while before we actually come back and make it uh, successful. But uh, right now is a good time to be preparing.